Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah, and today I'm gonna to be doing my first Shein haul. If you guys don't know, I just had a baby four months ago, so I'm in like a weird in-between stage where I just cannot fit in any of my regular clothes, nor can I fit in my maternity clothes. Pre-pregnancy, I was shopping at Torrid, and there I am a size zero, zero, and sometimes a zero. And so for Shein, I just kind of shopped in, I just shopped the, pl the curvy plus size 1XL. I just want to point out though, this was my first time shopping there, so I, and I'm shopping from Canada. I had no clue that there was going to be like some duty charges slap to my final total. Um, it wasn't done immediately, it was just more of a thing that I got messaged like a day or two after me placing my order, just stating that I needed to pay another $40 on top of my 200 and something dollars. Pretty much close to $300. So that was a little bit frustrating. I also want to point out that I'm in lockdown and I'm super bored. So I, I ordered not only one haul, but I do have another package awaiting to arrive, I think tomorrow. So stay tuned for a number of hauls from me with regards to Shein. I ordered a bunch of dresses. I ordered a bunch of shirts to, for the summer. I ordered a few bottoms. So I'm just super excited to see if any of this stuff fits because online shopping was a struggle before and I'm just, I'm even more apprehensive that, that the items are gonna fit my postpartum body. So if they do fit, you're gonna be just as shocked as I am because I'm not familiar with all this stuff. But I do wanna point out that I also did go ahead and read all the comments following the products I ordered as well as kind of did the size assessment the basic size assessment that's on their their um uh, that's on their website so I'm hoping that I hit the nail right on the head with the way I chose these clothes and based on the advice and the sizing that's provided so let's hop into this haul so so one of the first things that I got is this top right here and it says mom life I thought I saw it on the site and I just thought it looked really cute so let's see what it looks like on so guys so this is what it looks like on I want to point out I am very very busty so I usually just struggle with t-shirts because the way they fit they just kind of make me look like a box and I'm currently nursing so <laughs> yeah but overall, I think this t-shirt fits really, really well. I am actually pleasantly surprised. Ignore the bottoms that I'm wearing because I was just wearing some like wide-legged pants from Torrid today. And I feel good. It is a shorter t-shirt. I guess I could pull it down a little bit more. It's not like a long t-shirt by any means, but that's what it looks like. And I think it's doing its thing. So there's not a particular order which I'm going to be showing you these things. I'm just going to try to go through it. I did order a lot of t-shirts, but I do want to mix it up. The next thing I ordered were these pants. Uh, I have never shot, these pants have no stretch, okay? Zero stretch. So to be fair, if you guys know me and know me well, I don't wear pants that don't stretch. <laughs> so this was a stretch trying to buy pants that don't stretch. So guys, this is what it's looking like. I'm trying to do this up by myself. But this is what it's looking like, guys. As you can see, I do have a bit of a belly um, because, like I said, I am four months postpartum. This is the primary reason why I cannot fit in my clothes right now. So I don't think I did half bad with this. I'm not sure how much I love these, but I think they'll just be a fun pants just to wear grocery shopping, wear to the store and lounge around in. Yeah. They are definitely bigger than what I'm used to. They are kind of dragging on the ground, which I think I kind of knew from looking inside the, from seeing on the website. These are probably like perfect to wear with those chunky sandals that are going around, but I don't have a pair of those yet, nor do I, nor was I planning on getting one, but these pants might make me get one just because they, they're just that long. Overall, I like the fit of them, like I said, it's at the at the back you can see it will do up it's probably just a little snug but yeah so moving on one of the next things that i got is a t-shirt this one that says love for some reason or another i chose a zero xl in this one so let's see how it fits i'm not sure why i chose a zero xl maybe it's based on the reviews but it's a t-shirt i can't imagine it being any different the print itself, these kind of prints, I mean, they feel kind of cheap. Like, I hope they don't just wash off in the wash. I've never bought anything, like I said, 
this will look better with a t-shirt bra but i've never bought anything with these kind of prints so i don't know how long they're gonna last but i mean they are pretty inexpensive cheap t-shirts so this one here makes me feel like i should have just ordered a zero xl it looks like it just fits better makes me feel more comfortable I don't feel like I'm hanging out. I'm not seeing all the rolls because this is like my problem area at the back. I love this one. This is perfect. I love this one. I love the color and love. I mean, like I said, this stuff seems kind of shiny. If the light hits it the wrong way, it's going to be like, okay. But overall, it's good. It's not bad. So this next one is a two-piece set. It does have this cute little, um, what do you call it, ruffle off the shirt, off the shoulder black shirt. Honestly, I remember ordering the shirt. I don't remember ordering these shorts at all. But they came with this set. They, it is in size 1XL. And I'm actually kind of curious to see what these are going to look like. Okay, guys. So for as for the shirt, I am actually loving the shirt. It is uh, short. <laughs> it is short. But you know what? I think overall I am loving it because... Um, it just fits well if it was like super tight it would make me feel uncomfortable but it because it's it's got room to give it just feels um, I don't know it just feels good however like my bra is sitting right here I'm assuming if I wore like a good bra that lifted the girls up more it would be even better but the top overall looks really good I'm gonna pan down and show you guys the shorts this is what the bottoms look like I must say I don't typically wear pants or shorts that look like this or feel like this this is what it's doing back there i don't know what it's doing for the booty back there i guess i'll see this when i edit it but that's what it's looking like definitely giving me beetlejuice vibe <laughs> but for i you know what i don't hate it i don't hate it especially if i can function and this isn't gonna be like super big but i do feel like it just makes me look <laughs> Like my early days when I, you know whatever I'm saying to myself don't ever feel any type of way about what I'm saying because I mean I just gave birth so that's what's still that's what's on my mind because I know I'm still postpartum I was still a plus size before I gave birth I was working I worked out so hard to get rid of the pooch before and the pooch is back and this is what it's where it's at but I'm not upset like honestly I think I could wear this out to go for a, okay I'm not sure about that I think I might wear this top with something. I feel like this looks good together. It just doesn't look good together with my body type at the current moment. So I might wear this top with something else that comes up higher. Maybe holds me together a little bit. And I might wear these bottoms with like a, a t-shirt that comes that covers it. Based on the material, I can tell that it's a little thin, that it's going to be see-through. Also, I'm not a big fan of just like this here. I did order a 1X because I have to... I really have to take into account the pooch but because I took into account the pooch it does come bigger everywhere else because that's my problem area at the current moment moment I've lost some inches from different parts of my body but it's not in weight because the scale still weighs the same thing I'm gonna measure myself and will include it in the description box at the current moment because I don't have my measurements but all I know is I'm a 36 triple D. I was that actually before pregnancy. And I did buy, uh, is it a double F bra? So honestly, I'm kind of still not quite sure where I'm at, like in terms of giving you guys a guide to my body type right now. All I know is this is this outfit is 1XL and it's doing its thing. So that's what that's what's up. So another thing that I purchased is this dress right here. It is a t-shirt dress. I have only bought one of these in my life and the last, the last time I bought it, I was a little unsure because I felt like it made me look like a box. However, these just look, the prints on these just look so good. I couldn't pass it up and I just thought it would look really cute on me, especially for summer. Like I said, I'm just in that stage where like, I just want to be comfortable and I want to point out I'm also breastfeeding not that I, I think a lot of you women really care about that but I'm going to be breastfeeding so these tops the things that I bought I bought so they could be breastfeeding friendly and I could still breastfeed my baby while wearing it throughout the summer so let's see what this baby looks like on that mess mixed up because I thought this was the dress but apparently it is not because there's no one heck I'm going to wear this as a dress it's so short This 
is what it looks like. Love the color, love the pattern, love the style. I feel free. <laughs> so far, this is probably my favorite because the pattern is fire. It looks cute on my skin tone. I just love the style of it. So let's see the next one. Guys, I'm back in the same thing because my little one needed me and hubby couldn't control him. So I had to go take care of him real quick. But I'm back and the next thing that I purchased is this shirt right here. Oh my gosh, it's looking kind of big. So you guys, this is what it's looking like. So this is what it looks like. It is, this one looks and fits more like a dress to me. It looks and feels good. I feel for some reason because I can see like just a little bit of shape. It does definitely helps to not make me feel just <laughs> entirely boxy, even though I'm not wearing like a proper t-shirt bra. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. The pattern feels good. The fabric, I don't know how to describe this t-shirt fabric. It feels soft, it's not rough, but the texture definitely feels different from the other t-shirt dress that I showed you guys. This one feels more like a stretchy, sporty, workout kind of um, fabric, whereas in this just feels like t-shirt fabric but not necessarily cotton yeah not cotton guys so this one is definitely a vibe i must say one thing i love about them what makes these shirts look really good is the neck so the neck just sells them to me they just fit really well overall and i feel like I chose the right size. One X is the size to go. When I first started ordering stuff, I wasn't sure if I should stick with the regular size and maybe buy like extra larges over there. Cause I've never really ever, like even in real life, I don't typically buy extra large clothes. My clothes are usually like my pre-pregnancy clothes would be like mediums and larges, but I never really bought extra large. So I wasn't sure. Like I know that I literally have, I still have almost 30 pounds of pregnancy weight. And so, I just don't know where I am in terms of like comparison. I'm, I wouldn't even know where I am in toward size because I was like a zero zero before. So now I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I would be, uh, I wouldn't be that size at the current moment. So overall using the sizes to gauge as well as reading people's, seeing people's pictures and just yeah, seeing people's photos and the weight as well as the size that they chose definitely helped me to pick out the right size for myself. So far, everything has been like a win. I haven't really missed the mark with anything so far. The only thing that were a little bit snug were the pants, but they still fit. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I bought are these jeans right here. They are in size... Um, Yep, I bought size 1XL and I really like them. I've never owned pants like this. They don't stretch worth a darn, so they definitely look bigger than anything I feel like I've owned in the sense because, you know, when you wear stretchy things, they have a lot of room to give. Well, I shouldn't say that, but stretchy things generally look smaller because you're going to stretch into them. That's what I'm used to wearing. A lot of my clothes typically stretched and then you know seeing stuff like this where it's like much larger is different but I honestly I'm getting more and more accustomed to the idea that buying the larger size so it can fit is not necessarily a bad thing OMG okay maybe maybe I was wrong hold on hold on hold on this is where I think I've fallen short so initially to get them over, I didn't realize that you'd have to pull them a little bit, wiggle a bit, because the cut is very different. Down here, straight, the waist is a little tapered. As a result of that, the waist of the pants is smaller and thus cannot fit. Let's see, if I suck it in. So it will fit if I suck it in and wear it. I have to say, they won't be entirely bad when I lose maybe five or so pounds. But as of now, this is how they fit. Okay. They actually make it look like I've got a, some junk in the trunk. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of that. But... This is what it looks like if I were to wear it with my shorts. Guys, disregard if my legs come across a little ashy because I didn't go and moisturize just for this video. But, you know, that's neither here, here nor there because we're trying on these outfits to see what they really look like. Not deter not judging my ashy legs. So, 
that's what it looks like guys this one I'm a little bit um disappointed about because I actually thought I, I hit the nail on the head with this one I saw other people who weighed approximately the same as me but people I think people some said it fit big so that's a one thing it's gonna be hit or miss with some things like you just really never know like numbers in general look different they look different on different people so I mean when it came to the shorts I kind of missed it a little bit because it is quite a bit snug but I could probably get away with wearing it I just don't know how it would feel how it would feel getting into the car sitting down and just like relaxing and the button just goes flying off yeah but honestly I think these will work um, with me losing another five pounds or so I love the pattern love the stitch I really love everything about them I'm actually glad I didn't buy them bigger I think for me for me I'm actually happier that they're they're fitting a little bit smaller because I am currently on a weight loss journey this is a little backwards to me buying clothes while I'm on a weight loss journey but I told myself this summer I want to live like I'm still gonna breastfeed and the weight doesn't come off of me that e easily so I know that I have some months to go before I will be able to fit into anything I'm just calling it I'm just scratching it off for the year and just doing me living and uh, I'm just I'm really really excited about everything that I've got because so far everything's been good Ideally, if I can keep these shorts and wear them after, it's great. Because when I lose weight, like I still, the lowest I go is like 160. And I still consider myself a plus size because I still have to shop for fit for the upper part of my body, which is the biggest. And yeah, we'll, you know, like I can't fit in just any little thing. So I generally shop plus size. I just don't know what size I'm going to be. But to be able to fit into these later, that would be still, that would be fantastic. You guys, so the next t-shirt I bought is this one. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I have to say it's probably my favorite print so far because it's not like shiny or anything like that. It doesn't give off like the super shiny vibes, but I love it. I'm not a big, I love white, but keeping white, especially when you're a chocolate girl and you wear makeup, that's that can be hard sometimes. So, but anyways, I'm gonna give this a go. This would look super cute with those jeans, so. Let's give it a go. I purchased this one in a one, I think I purchased this one in a zero, in a zero XL, hence why it fits this small. If it's not zero XL, I will put it on the screen to correct myself, but this is how that, this is fitting. My hair legit looks like a bird's nest at this point because I've just, it was twisted and I basically just kept yanking all the, clothes over my head but overall i love it it's so cute it's a little bit you know sexy okay and i just this looks like it would be so cute with like a chain and the whole works guys this this is a vibe i like it it's, this is what it's looking like with the shorts okay guys i feel i love it i feel so comfortable i haven't had like shirts that fit like just kind of fit the way they're supposed to yeah, I haven't had shirts, t-shirts that fit this well in a long time. Like I said, I don't have a proper bra, and so it will, might be up and fit it a little bit different, especially if I'm wearing a t-shirt bra. But overall, I am loving it. I will try to link all the names of the items that I'm wearing inside the description box. Yeah, overall, I love it. Anyways, guys, this is the last item I will be showing you for today. Um, I will be doing the, this video in a number of parts. I actually have quite a few things to show you guys. I'm just ending it because it's so long and I don't want the videos to be extra, extra long. But like I said, I have honestly like five times the amount of things I showed you today. So be on the lookout. If you guys like Sheen Hauls, definitely subscribe to my channel to see which other, what else I purchased because... I am so pumped to show you all the goodies that I got. Overall, I'm really excited about the things I've got. You guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think these things look on me, how you think they fit. Let me know if you think I did good or bad with my first attempt at purchasing things without even knowing what size I am, you know, just kind of doing it blindly. Stay tuned for part two and three and four and so forth. So thank you so much for tuning in and um, don't forget to like today's video and leave your comment down below and until next time. Bye y'all.